Hi and welcome to Casual DIY channel. Today's episode, unboxing and review of this bad boy is Triton 450 oscillating spindle and belt sander. Let's have a look at it. Right, I've got my utility knife in my hand, I'm ready to unbox, but before I do, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as I do bring new content each week and your support helps me a lot. So let's get to it, let's crack this bad boy open. Okay, bags of goodies. Okay, so what we've got in the box, obviously we've got a manual, we're not going to need that. Um, some bolts, some more bolts and some uh, parts. That's all the spindles, different sizes. We got some um, sandpaper for the spindles. We actually got the, um, the belt that comes in one large piece. And that's the machine. Okay, let's get this bad boy out. Some pipe. Nearly there, guys, nearly there. Look at this. Beautiful. It's actually not that heavy as well, so if you needed to move it around your shop, it's quite convenient. Okay, so the first feature, as I mentioned just a second ago, it's quite light, so if you're actually working with this machine, it's quite prone to move around. But, fortunately enough, you've got some holes here, and you can attach it to your workbench or to your place where you're going to be actually doing anything. It's nice and flat, which means you can actually clamp it as well, so you don't have to put any screws in, you just clamp it there. And, uh, and off you go. So this is how it looks like straight out of the box. So the table is actually made from metal which is good, I'm quite happy with that because usually you get a plastic piece here and it's got wrecked to pieces in no time. So that's uh, that's a good thing. Okay, so these are all the parts. So we got our belt sander, we've got some zero clearance uh, discs, that's when we're going to be putting the spindles. Obviously we've got four different sizes for the spindles and the sandpaper, the, the, um, the sleeves to go on them. That's um, to when we're going to be using the spindle sanders, that's going to go over the gap, which is here. Then we've got a key and some uh, washers and nuts, that's to secure um, the spindles and obviously the main sanding belt. So each one of these components got its own space on the machine, so let's put it on and uh, see how it all fits together.
and for the rest of them, they are on the other side of the machine. And you've got the uh, large washer for the spindle, there's actually a space for it as well at the front of the machine. For the small ones as well. So the sandpaper and the spindle basically you just put it on like that and when you install it in the machine the washer and the nut that goes on top of it um, it contracts the the rubber part uh, which makes the sandpaper stick to it and um, and hopefully it will not come off we'll, we'll see how that works uh, in a minute So obviously we actually got five different sizes and for these four you've got the rubber bands but you've got the fifth one, fifth sleeve actually goes directly onto the pin. You've got your stop lock, spindle, My first out of the box impression about that this machine, I'm absolutely amazed guys. I'm so impressed how well thought through this machine actually is. Every single washer, every single nut, even the key, the spindles, the belt, the screws, absolutely everything has got a place within the body of this machine. So what that means, you don't have to look for it, you're not going to lose it, it's always there. Absolutely awesome feature. I like it so far, but let's have a look how easy it is to swap the belt and the pins, how that mechanism works and what are additional features. As you've seen it perform quite well with a piece of pine, it left really nice and smooth clean edge here. Um, what I've not mentioned, obviously I've connected my shop vac and as you've seen on the video it's not actually creating much dust at all. So the extraction system is working quite well which I'm really pleased with because dust in my shop, in my garage is always a big problem. Right then, let's check out the belt now. So let's have a look how difficult or easy it is to actually swap the spindle 
for the belt sander. Let's have a go. As you've seen, it wasn't bad at all. So quick, so easy to do. Let's put the machine to the test. I'm going to be using a point with a sign that I've burned um, a couple of videos ago. I actually not used any branding irons. I have not used any flame to do it, but it is a burned effect on piece of wood. If you're interested in making projects with burned wood effect signs, logos, or whatever. Um, and don't want to spend a fortune, for example, on a branding iron, uh, check my video, I'll leave it uh, link up down below so you can see how you can do it very easily and very cheaply. But let's get back to the sander, let's give it a go. Um, so, one more feature of the sanding machine is the table itself. You can actually tilt it, the front of it, to uh, up to a 45 degree angle. So let's have a look how that works. Basically, you've got two knobs on each side. Release them both. The table goes down. Secure it correctly. And you've got a nice 45 degrees angle. So as you can see this is another very cool feature, you've got the basic, so that's 45 in there, you see you've got this pin at the back here that stops the table from uh, going anywhere else and obviously you've got 45 degree angle there, 30 degrees, 22.5, 15 and obviously uh, 0. So this is a really nice cool feature there as well. Let's see how it performs with sanding on an angle now.
So as you've seen, sanding on an angle, it's not a problem as well. One thing I do have to point out, that when you're using the belt instead of the spindle, the dust collection is actually not as good. Although, maybe it's a, a lot bigger, wider surface that it's actually sanding at one, at one time, and maybe the dust collection is not as efficient as the spindle. Unboxing done, testing done, let's review this bad boy. So as you've seen, it was ever so simple, out of the box, straightforward. Changing the bell to the pin, to the uh, spindle sander, no problem at all, ever so easy. Everything feels really sturdy and well made. Even the handles here, to change the angle of the table, it's nice thick rubber and the handles are quite large so your hand will not be slipping on them. And that's a very nice detail. Obviously every single piece has got the place on the body of the machine, which is absolutely amazing. So you're not going to lose anything. Even the tiny washers, there's a place for those as well. Um, one thing I have to mention, the dust collection. It's far better on the, on the spindle, it's not as efficient of, on the belt, but again, you know, um, not everything's perfect. Is it worth buying? Do you need it in your shop? Well, it all depends on what you actually do. For the price itself, I don't think you're going to find a better machine. 450 watts oscillating spindle and belt sander. Absolutely brilliant combo. So I do a lot of glue ups, I do a lot of cheese boards, chopping boards, but I also do um, some weird shapes and sizes. So to make sure it's a straight edge, belt sander, absolutely perfect. I've tested it outside of the video and it gives me a perfect 90 degree angle, so that's awesome. I also make cheese boards with some antlers or different uh, shapes and sizes. Um, and the spindles for, for those needs are absolutely amazing and they do a great job. The machine comes with three year warranty and that speaks for itself as well guys. So uh, if, you can, if you need one, if you're looking for one, I definitely recommend uh, this machine. So all in all, I think it's a very very good tool and 5 out of 5 is a well deserved score. I fully recommend Triton, the oscillating spindle and belt sander. Uh, just to mention, this is not a sponsored video, I am not getting paid for it at all, which is a shame really, but there you go. I'm just reviewing this for you guys, if you ever thought about buying one, I think it's definitely worth it, especially for the price comparing to different um, machines of similar type. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with it. If you did enjoy my video, please leave me that like button down below. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing as it does help me a lot. Your support means a lot to me and I, it helps me to develop my channel. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you on my next review or next project. Till then, take care.